Hi everyone, my name is Billy Roll. I'm a student aquarist at the Waikiki Aquarium, and today I'll be starting a series of videos about seahorse breeding. The first thing you're going to want to do for breeding your seahorses is pick your mate pair. If you've already got your tank set up, you want to go out and find some seahorses. Most of or most of the time you're going to go to your local pet shop or fish store to try and pick out your pair. You can also order a set of seahorses already mated pair from Ocean Rider, which is actually uh, located on the big island of Hawaii. It will be fairly expensive, though you do also have to pay for shipping of the animals. I'd recommend that if you can find a local store nearby that sells seahorses, pick them up from a local store. It'll probably save you quite a bit of money. One of the hardest things to do a lot of the time is, sex is sexing seahorses. It should be fairly easy, but there are some weird cases that you can run into that can make it a little bit confusing. When you go to a pet shop and you're looking at seahorses to tell a male and a female apart, uh, first look at them in the profile. A female will have a rounded belly that curves straight under her, uh, kind of below the dorsal fin. Her belly is going to round out and then go straight back, and it will look I mean, like a very nice kind of oblong circular shape. A male is going to have two bumps when you look at him in profile. He'll have the curve of his belly, and then below that you'll see another softer looking curve, and that is his pouch. That's kind of how you tell a male and a female apart when they're in profile. And I'll put up some pictures of both of those. When you look at a male and a female from the front on a straight head-on view, um, a female will just have a genital, a urogenital opening that is at the base of her belly pointing downwards. A male's pouch will be kind of two lobe shapes, and it will be below his belly, and they'll be puppy looking. They look fairly puppy, and then they sort of um, wrap around the urogenital slit, and so it looks kind of like a nice two cushions with a little slit in the middle. That's how you pick out your male. With some species, like Hippocampus reedi, which is the seahorse I have the most experience with, you can get some kind of odd cases with juveniles. I have one juvenile at the aquarium that I have raised out, and it always looked female. Like, for a year, it looked like a female animal, and then all of a sudden it developed a pouch. And so in profile, it looks female, but then if you turn it around and see it from the front, you can definitely see that there's a pouch. One thing to note when you go to a pet store and you're looking at seahorses, you really want to check for their health. You don't want any animal with a pinched belly. That's if it squeezes in sort of an hourglass shape on the belly. Try and avoid that animal. It's probably not eating very well. A lot of seahorses that are just captured from the wild aren't used to accepting frozen foods, and most of the time they will not. Sometimes you can't ever train an animal to take frozen foods, so try and avoid that one if at all possible. But if you really want seahorses and that's the only one you can get, good luck trying to raise it out. Try starting out on live foods if it's not going to eat anything else. Eventually, try and switch it over to frozen foods. And I'll list some foods later on that have worked well for me in the past with getting seahorses to eat. One thing you want to look for to check an animal's health: seahorses have um, they can move their eyes independently of each other, kind of like a chameleon. And if their eyes are flicking around like crazy, they look like they're crazy animals. It's a good sign. It means they're healthy and actively searching for food. If your seahorse is kind of blankly staring into space and not moving its eyes that much, it's probably not a very healthy animal. It's probably not eating well. You should try and avoid that animal or see if you can get it to eat. If the pet store um, can do it, have them throw a little bit of food in and see if it actually goes for the food. If it does not, also try and avoid that animal. Seahorses do mate for life, so after you have one established pair that is breeding, you're pretty much good to go. That's pretty much it on seahorse selection, just picking out your mate pair. Some seahorses can be hard to, I mean, you have to go by species to see if they are sexually mature already. Sometimes the pets are a solid juvenile animal. It can be tricky. Um, in the next set of videos, I'll go over how to actually breed your animals. But this is just picking your pair and sexing them. Hope you guys have a good night.